Welcome back. My name is Marcus Bowles, President and CEO of Customized Minds. I'm excited that you're here today. I'm excited that you're plugged in. I hope you got your pens and pads and computers and gadgets ready to take some great notes, to apply this information, to apply these concepts that have been successful in my life and have been successful in so many other people's life. And so today I'm going to talk to you about how to be a successful delegator. And this is an important concept that if you are an entrepreneur, if you are a professional, if you're a parent, a spouse, anyone that has goals or aspirations to be successful in life, this is a concept that you need to get down ASAP. And why is that? Well, first and foremost, there's only 24 hours in a day and there's only so much the physical body can accomplish in, a, in, in that time. So, what must happen? You must delegate. Delegation is important because you have to focus on the most top priority objects and, and items in order for you to be successful in any organization that you're building. Again, whether it's a family, it's a business that you're working for or that you're uh, uh, growing or you know a church organization, nonprofit, whatever. All the people in the organization must understand their roles and those from the top must delegate as well as from the bottom up must delegate tasks as well. And so I'll give a little bit of examples about how delegation should work. But first, I want to talk about the importance of how to be a, an appropriate delegator because Delegation happens and starts with the person that is actually given the task more than the person that is actually doing the task. So if you are in an organization or if you have given someone a task, so let's just say you've given your child the, the task to wash the dishes and um, you, you have them do the dishes, but they're not spotless. They're not clean. You know, there's some specks and things on them. And so you, you have to now at that point take a step back and say, okay, how did I communicate this task in order for them to achieve them and get the desired results that I wanted? And I guarantee if you just said, hey, son, go in the, go in the kitchen and, and do the dishes and, or, or put them in the dishwasher and, 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 and I want, them, want it done in the next 15 minutes. But you go in there and it's not done to your satisfaction, but you didn't tell them to use soap. You didn't tell them to use bleach. You didn't tell them to air dry some dishes and, and, and not uh, you know, necessarily dry other dishes with, with, the, with the, a rag or actually putting them in the dishwashers to have them go through the cycle. So again, delegation is more focused on and more importantly coming from the person that is given the task than the person that is actually doing the task. So you must sit back now, evaluate your communication essentially is what delegation comes down to. You must be so precise with your, uh, with your instructions, again, on some things, but not everything, because you want people to be creative and, and innovate to do things better. But if you have a desired goal or a desired outcome, but you give very broad, um, what we would say, instructions, but you know, want someone with zero experience in that area to do it like someone who has had 15 years, you're setting yourself up for failure. You're not only going to do anything but frustrate yourself, and frustrate the person that you gave the task to who is trying to perform that task at the level of expectations that you have set for them. So, I hope you understood that. Again, if you didn't, push rewind and go back and, and, and make sure you understand the importance that delegation starts with you, the person that is given the task, more importantly than the person that is actually performing the task. Now, to move on to the second part of delegation why it's important, and if you're building an organization, again, because you are not able to do everything. There are so many little different things that must be done in a family, that must be done in a business, that must be done you know, at a, at a church, that you as one person solely, and even in our economy, that you cannot do. So you must delegate those tasks. You must give that responsibility. You must trust. Key word, you must trust other people to achieve those goals just as much as they trust you to achieve the goals that they have given you to do or you know you're responsible for. So delegation is very, very important. And the underlying principle of delegation is communication. 
without understanding how you're communicating, without analyzing, you know, did you communicate that the best way? You know, where was the, 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 the breakdown in the communication? And then learn from it. Learn from, you know, doing delegation wrong several times, but get better every single time that you do it. Get better to where you have less arguments, to where you have, you know, less, again, miscommunication happening in order to achieve the goal because having constant failure, 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 failure with no growth is not going to, again, do anything but frustrate you as a delegator and frustrate the person trying to achieve the task that you have given them. So, apply this concept, apply this information again in your, in your life, in every area of your life in order to, again, to achieve your goals. The faster you can basically hire, fire yourself out of jobs or things that you should or at one point what were doing in your life, that shows the growth happening in your life. That is also showing you move to higher heights and having more high priority ticket items that you as the leader of your life and probably of your family, of organizations and other people must focus on than you know, maybe five years ago. So hey, I hope it again touched your, touched your life. I hope you apply it. And as always, you have what you say now. If you believe it now, it's yours to have right now. The power of life and death is in the tongue, more importantly, in the mind, but first one must believe in the heart. And I believe in my heart with this information, you now know how to delegate properly, and you will be successful at it, and those getting those tasks will be successful at completing those tasks for you and your organization. As always, take care. I'll talk to you on the next one.